So now we can able to select an image from gallery. Now we can send the image to the server. So before going to send the image to the server, we have to compress the image and decode that image. So here I am going to create a method that compress the image and decode it. So here the return type is string. I name it as image to string. So first here create some variables for byte array output stream. I name it as byte array output stream. First we need to compress the bitmap into JPG format. So bitmap dot compress. First one specify the compression format. So compress format into dot jpg. Now specify the quality. And final variable is the byte array output stream. So here we compress the bitmap and save the compressed bitmap into the byte array output stream. Now we need to convert the byte array output stream into an array of byte. So create some variables for byte array. I name it as image byte. Byte array output stream to byte array. Now we need to encode the byte array. So we can encode it. So base64 dot encode it to string. Specify the byte array. Now there is a flag. Uh, we can use this base64 default. And finally, we can return the string from this method. So return this string. So this method convert the bitmap into a string value. So now we need to create a method for perform the image upload so here I'm going to create a method upload image create some variables first one is image call that method image to string now get the image title get the title from the edit text so img title dot get the text now we can perform the image upload so first one we need to create some variables for api interface first get an instance of the profit so api api client dot get api client dot create specify the interface class here it is api interface dot class now we can call that method so here the return type is an instance of call class here the expected output is an object of our model class here the model class is image class now call that method so api interface dot upload image pass the image title now pass the image now we can handle the response from server so this method has two callback on a response and on failure we can handle the response from this method on a response so here the response is an object of image class so image class get the response response dot body now we can display some we can display the response from server using a toast 
main activity dot this now display the response Salvat response so image class dot get the response At the same time, now we need to display the image view. So IMT dot set visibility into visible. Now display the image title edit text. So image title dot set visibility into visible. Now we need to disable the choose button. So bm choose dot set enabled into false. Now we need to enable enable the upload button. So bm dot uh, bn upload dot set enabled into true. Uh, sorry, there is a mistake occurred. We have to hide this image view. So here it is gone and we have to hide the image title into gone and choose button into enable we have to enable the choose button and final this one into false also we have to reset the image title so image title dot set to text Now we can run the application. Uh, now we can test our application. So we can check the database now. Open localhost. Go to PHP MyAdmin. Uh, this is our database. This is our table. Now there is no information available in this table. So this is our database now we can check the folder so this is the project folder this is the upload folder now there is no images are available in this folder so now I'm going to upload some image so run the application uh, select an image specify an image title now upload that image now this is the response from server image uploaded successfully and the image available on the upload folder now we can check the database and here one row is now inserted now try to upload another image specify an image title and upload that image now that image available inside a folder available in server now we can check the database here again one row is inserted so this is how we perform an image upload using retrofit in android i hope you understand the concepts Please subscribe my channel for getting more Android tutorial updates. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.